The following is a presentation of The Day. High School will host the Bassick Lions and all the action is live on game day. Game day is brought to you by Waterford Dental Health. At Waterford Dental Health, we provide solutions to all your dental needs. Your smile is our top priority. Our entire team is dedicated to providing you the personalized gentle care you deserve. Visit us today at waterforddentalhealth.com. Casey O'Neill, along with the sports doctor, the clean shaven <laughs> sports doctor, <laughs> As, uh, Vacationing sports doctor this week, too. I'll, I'm, I'm running on fumes right. myself right now. <laughs> a team very different from themselves in terms of geography, right. in terms of school. Uh, Bassett traveling down, of course, one of the Bridgeport schools and coming in tonight to play St. Brian. Yeah, and, and uh, Coach Bernie Lofton talks about his team coming in. You know what? We didn't have a – we trap, we run, we press, we create offense off of defense. We try to wreak a little havoc, and why not? It is March. Ball, do the little things that you need to do rebound, get good quality shots, and, and knock them down, and you know limit, limit the sloppiness that will lead to easy scoring opportunities for the Lions. For St. Bernard's to win tonight, they are going to have to get a total team effort. Uh, Amir Gray is going to have to be his usual fearless self at the point. Tyson Wheeler is going to have to take good shots and knock them down. Amari Marshall is going to have to play with that chip on his shoulder. And Cedric Similian is going to have to be scintillating. For them to win right. tonight, that all has to happen. Because Bassick is going to present perhaps the deepest, most athletic sure. team they face. I think they resemble NFA in terms of a depth and athleticism. Yeah, the waves, yeah, the waves they can bring at you. It's got to be an A-plus game tonight for St. Bernard's. We saw them. What, two weeks ago at the Mohegan Sun, and things kind of didn't go their way, and you know, and um, I, I think it has to be an A plus game for them. Well, in their quarter, excuse me, in their semifinal loss to Waterford at, at the X, we said, you know, yeah, that's the X. We I'm said, sorry. you know, what happened, right? Right. Well, Jordan Elsie became unconscious, and right. and then the Saints kind of just couldn't put anything together, and and they didn't play a cohesive game, and all of those things I mentioned a minute ago. Gray played pretty well, but Wheeler took bad shots, right. wasn't knocking him down. Similian was kind of never a factor. you know. So we saw the ugly side of St. Bernard's. When they're at their best is usually when they're out running and pressing and causing havoc, but that would play right into Bassick's hands. Yeah, well, maybe they learned something in that game. Maybe they learned something from that Saturday morning you know, at, you know, at the X, and uh, we'll see what happens. We'll be back with the starting lineups and more, but right now, your national anthem. You know, Casey, I'm sorry, when you look at the losses this year from Bassick, I mean, Notre Dame, West Haven, West Hill, Newtown, Hill House, and East Catholic, if you're going to lose five games, that's that's the group to lose to. This team is definitely battle-tested coming in. And they've got some good wins under their belts as well, including win over Hill House. Uh, and they beat Fitch, you know, from the ECC, the one sort of test they've had against the ECC. And speaking of the ECC sports doctor, uh, well, you know, they've acquitted themselves nicely in the tournament so far. A lot of ECC teams in action tonight, of course. St. Bernard's tonight here, uh, and New London at Daniel Hand. Right. If, if those two teams could win, we could have a new, we would have a New London St. Bernard's semifinal, which would be just outstanding. 
You've also got Ledger alive tonight. You've got Wyndham alive tonight. You've got NFA alive tonight. And over on the girls' side, you've got Bacon Academy in a, in a rough one right now with East Hampton all the way in Plainville. But the ECC still has a lot of schools live right now, doing pretty well so far in the tournament. Yeah, I, I, you know, Casey, it's a good point right there. You've, like I said, you've got a handful of schools opting to get them to the semifinals. And, you know, we, we knew the league was kind of so-so this year. Um, but tonight's the night where the league can kind of make its stamp. And it starts right here at St. Bird's. You know, NFA's got a tough game against Prep. I mean, we mentioned somebody's, you know, Ledger just playing Kennedy, so you're gonna have to get a little bit lucky and be good along the way in order to advance to the state tournament. Yeah, you gotta have some things go right in the state tournament. And St. Bernard's not with a real history of success in the quarterfinals at home. They played back to back in eight, 2018 and 2019, and they lost both to Rocky Hill and New Canaan. Right. Uh, and didn't play great. In either, so they've, this is their third semifinal in four years, uh, and they are going to have to show that they can win one of these at home. Yeah, I mean, and this is the time to shine. And like you said, if you learn something a little bit, you know, off that semifinal loss, maybe they they needed that to grow. They came back and you know had a nice win, and you know, in the second round game, all coming off of a bye. So, hey, listen, this is tournament time, baby. This is house money. This is roll the dice, and it, 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 leave nothing on the floor tonight. Amari Marshall will jump it up for St. Bernard's. He in the home white with the red. He'll be jumping it up against Joshua Santiago, one of the two seniors on Basic, one of their premier players. And he goes 6-4, Marshall goes 6-6. Six, six. The two will jump it up at center court. It's Joshua Santiago, Tyrese Hammonds, Jakari Tertullian, Damian Nin, and Quadir Gathers, the starting five for Basic. Cedric Similian, Devin Williams, Amir Gray, Tyson Wheeler, and Amari Marshall for the Saints. Let's get going here on the hill. Jump ball, St. Bernard's comes out a little man to man. Oh, quick slice to the basket was Hammonds, but he missed the layup. And up the other way, Wheeler with a bad pass in the first turnover of the game. Hammonds went right through. Now a three by Hammonds is short. And Marshall fighting for the rebound, battling with the Lions and Tertullian has it. Now a long three from Santiago, and that is nothing but the bottom of the cup. Yeah, and pressure, 2-2-1 two, two, pressure. Gray finds Marshall, now to Wheeler. Wheeler harassed, double teamed, and he'll throw it off of Santiago, but Listen. you can see already the pressure of Bassick causing some problems yeah. for the Saints. Lazy passes. and. Indecisiveness with the basketball could kill St. Bernard's tonight. You gotta be quick, you gotta play with passion tonight. Play with intent, son. Similian with a nice look underneath on a feed from Gray. Good inbounds play for the Saints. So far, Bassett's had a wide open layup and a wide open three on their first two possessions. Hammonds, the other senior with the basketball. Wheeler steps in and gets called for a reach. That is a tough foul. That's a little. That's a little loose change on the floor right there. It's play on. 7.02 in the first quarter. Uh, pick up the laundry ref. Let these kids go. It's March. That's a good, that's a good reach in right there by Wheeler. And that's a tough call. I do think, however, that the official decided to make up with it, make up for the call with a very, very uh, demonstrative presentation of the foul. He uh, he he clearly acted it out. Uh, and either okay. Wheeler, either Wheeler fouled him or uh, was was choking on some form of a chicken nugget. I don't know. I, 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 Very I, demonstrative yeah, in the foul call. Up top, Santiago, straightaway three. No good. Similian tips it, and Wheeler couldn't come down with it. Other direction, and the Saints struggling on the defensive rebounding. Now they got numbers, though. Gray. Similian spot up three. Got it. Yep. Good look. From Williams in the corner, quick pass, Similian knocks it down, move the basketball. Right back the other way, Basic with a three from Nin, can't get it to go down. Up ahead, Devin Williams running the floor, and the Saints are fired up and running. Well, a much different St. Bernard team than we saw at Waterford High School two weeks ago. That is for sure. Oh, they are energized. He said maybe they shouldn't run with this team. Maybe they should. 
Santiago goes baseline. Gray gets a hand on it. Numbers. Similian three on one. Gives it to Williams. Finishes at the basket. And a quick timeout from Bernie Lofton. He is not happy with Bassick's transition defense. The Saints are up six. Well, Saints, when the Saints come marching in, how about when the Saints start running in? I start here for Mark Jones and his crew. They are playing with a different purpose tonight, Casey, than they did back in the semifinal loss we saw two weeks ago. Well, they're gonna, the only problem I'm seeing so far is struggling on the defensive rebounding side of things. Yeah. Bassick seems to get too many uh, opportunities, very athletic around the rim. And let's take a look, though, when they get numbers out and run. Similian, nice job holding the ball to the last second and the finish at the rim by Williams. And again, this is a team where maybe you have to attack them a little bit. Maybe you've got to play more aggressive, play up to their style. So we're going to get a sub in the game for Bassick, and they only get bigger. Navian Thomas comes in. He's a 6'7 sophomore, so they're going to have more size. He said they go 11 deep. They're going to run numbers at you. So defensive rebounding for St. Bernard's. So far, that's been their biggest problem. But when they do get the rebound, since Bassick's right. sending everybody in, right. they're doing great in transition. And I'm going to tell you something right now, too. Because of Bassick's inability to make shots, they've only got three points, they haven't had an opportunity to set up the 2-1-2 two, two pressure or 2-2-1. Two, two, so St. Bernard's beating up on, on the floor numbers yeah. on two or three different occasions. And it's double because when, they, when, they, when Saints do get the rebound, they get transition <laughs> numbers. So making a shot yep. gets that press. Missing yep. it gets you in transition deficit. Bounce pass underneath. Similian got a hand on it. Still on the floor. It's loose. And Amari Marshall is going to get called. They're going to call a jump ball. Yep. He tied up Thomas. And so that'll be Saints ball. And here's that pressure. Wheeler will inbound. Gets it back from Williams. Now Williams heads up the floor. Tries to split Tough. the middle. And... Goes down hard onto the floor off of a trip. Williams got away with one that time, trying to dribble the ball through the press, Casey. Foul called, a little, a loose change on the outside, but pass the basketball, find the open man, expose it on the back end. As promised, waves coming in, sophomore Eric Upchurch-Rudd and Hassan Powell, a sophomore, into the ball game for Bassick. Wheeler does a nice job bringing it away from the pressure. Now Williams. Space, Wheeler drives. Marshall pulls up, eight footer. No good, rebound Santiago. Good, good look. look, good look. He'll make that more than he misses. That's a good look. Nice pass by Tice. Santiago looking for a screen. Picks his dribble hey, up. Hey, picked it up, good call, travel. Little bump, oh, the little woofing. From Civilian. And the referee telling him to knock it off. He's like, all right. And I think Santiago's like, what? Like, we're not even like that. Like, you think that's woofing? Yeah, right. You got to <laughs> come down to my area. We'll, talk, we'll show you what it's like. Careful here with this pressure. Gray, now they've got numbers. But tip from behind, out of bounds. It'll stay here with the Saints. So you can see if you can break the basket pressure, you're going to get great looks. Yeah, and, and Gray had a wide open lane to the middle of the basket. No help side defense that time from Bassick. Inbounds, Gray, the same play with Similian, this time not there. Wheeler spot up three. Back iron, too strong. And we're gonna get a foul on Amir Gray. And clearly the Again. message uh, is a little bit tight tonight. And this, uh, and this, this is a game. Bassett. Oh, this is, a, yeah, this, this does favor Bassett because they're much deeper than St. Bernard's. Those are things, you know, that you kinda, kinda play on, let him go. We're going to see Odin Malls check into the ball game for the St. Bernard Saints. Santiago, three from the elbow is no good, but they're going to call a foul on Wheeler with the foot, and that's going to put Santiago on the line to Tyson shoot three. Second. Tyson's second personal, too, yeah. Hey, I see his dad looking at the referee, putting his hands up in the air. I got to agree. I sometimes feel like the officials are looking to call the certain Yeah, I mean, I mean listen, that, that official is. Uh, I don't know his name. Um, but it, 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 well, I would say that one was a foul because he did run into him. But 
if you, you're gonna also call the little touch fouls, it's gonna become a very slow night. Santiago knocks the first one down, cuts the lead to five. I just think there's a way of letting these kids play without losing control of the game, too. Um. Malls comes in, and he's gonna give Wheeler a break, because Wheeler's got the two fouls. So the Saints go a little bigger right now, but do lose a little bit of ball handling, so yep. you're gonna have to rely on Similian to pick up a little of the Wheeler ball handling slack. Santiago knocks down all three free throws. He's got all their points. Sports Doctor loves that when he knocks yeah. down all three. Yeah, he's got all their points, too. Big time pressure. Nice look, Gray. Here's numbers. Gray pulls up, 12-footer. No good. And a great rebound, Santiago. And we're going to get a foul on Oden Malls. Well, at, at what point do you call a jump ball or just let it play on? Because you know once they don't call an initial jump ball, he's going to come back for a little more. Four fouls against St. Bernard's. One against Bassett. So I'm going to be honest with you. I like those foul calls because I hate the bad reach in, uh -huh. try to tie you up, and he didn't get him. He, he got him on the arm. What I don't like is the little touch fouls at midcourt and stuff like that. Dump down underneath. Nice play. Nice look. Strong finish from Thomas. Similian comes through. Gray, kick out. Open look. Williams for three. Good. Yeah. Nice recognition that time by Gray. Little drop to the corner by Williams. Three for number three. Good ball movement. That's where you break the pressure. Nice look underneath, but Thomas couldn't ha hold on to it. Saved by Marshall. Similian. Dangerous. Turns it over. Pushing the other way. Here comes Santiago. Skies and can't get it to go. But good hustle on the play from Powell Jr. Yep. And a steal from Amir Gray. Off to the races, hangs, scores, basket is good, and Amir Gray will go to the line. You know, Gray is one of these kids, freshman, who's not a freshman anymore at this point. Good hands, the steal, and the delivery at the rim. Hammonds will check back into the ball game. All right, a lot of different bodies coming in for Bassick. Or 51, not on our roster. I'm going to guess that's either, that's going to be Kayshaun, Ken Sean Hamilton, but as Gray knocks it down, we'll get it out of the book and we'll figure it out. Put hands by Williams. Again, that zone right now, Casey. Williams on a deflection. That was right, Ken Sean Hamilton is the number 51. Nin back into the lineup. 6-3. Up top it goes, Santiago. Gets a screen up top. Drive over the top of Malls, hanging in the air and going to the line will be Upchurch Rudd. I got to think if Malls is, has his arms straight up in the air. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's, again, it's, there's a little bit of a bump on the body, but he's you know, entitled. I think he's entitled. He's entitled to that space. But that was good defense by Malls. He's got two personals as well. In and out for Upchurch Rudd. And we're going to see Corbett Grassall into the ball game. He's going to give Malls a seat because Malls has yeah. two as well. We'll ride this out to the end of the period. Up Church Road, one more. Second one is pure, and the lead is cut to six, right back into the pressure. Long pass, Gray to Marshall. Williams with another three. Wing strong, no good. Marshall tips it, and Gray loses it to Santiago. Up ahead, Hammonds over Brassaw for the basket. Right back the other way. Gray hangs in the air, and no fear, Amir will go to the line and shoot two. Well, I'm going to tell you something right now. Similian and Gray are just as fast as anybody in that Bassett team. So if they can break the pressure and get to the rim, they're going to have some scoring opportunities like that. So we've been talking about the athletes from Bassett, but 
Gray has got some wheels, and Marshall does too. And, and so does Williams. The question is, with Bassick running 11 guys at him. Yeah, well, they get, get, they get tired a little bit, maybe. Hey, listen, you know how I feel about that. He's a freshman. Freshmen don't get tired. The 15-year-old kid. Well, he's not a cheetah, sports doctor. I mean, <laughs> yeah, well, you're a, you would get tired out there. You're a 50-year-old man. And uncharacteristically, Gray misses both. Bassett being a little more deliberate, swing. Santiago, long three. Got it. Joshua Santiago woofing after the triple. He's got nine for the Lions. Gray to Samillion. Stutter step, hangs, too strong. Marshall in the paint, can't get it to go. Good chances for the Saints, but they can't get anything to drop. Boy, if they could just convert at the rim, settle down, Marshall. They've got a wide open look at that. He's big enough and tall enough to rise up above, above the shot blockers. Just gather yourself. Get things organized and make your shot. Hammonds. Quick guard. Dumps off. Gets it back in the corner. Drives baseline. And off the tip. Can't get it to go. M multiple missed opportunities. Now here comes Similian. Spin move. The scintillating one. Cedric Similian. Other direction. Wild shot is good. Tyrese Hammonds with the left will go to the line. Good basket. Hammonds to the back. Up and down game. First foul on Brassaw. End to end action. And the St. Bernard's, yep. yep. St. Bernard's Casey with 16 fouls right now. So, next personal, Bassick will spend the entire second quarter at the line. Yeah, and this is uh, this is where the Saints are a little bit small, with Malls out of the game, Brassaw in the game, no Wheeler. They got to have the ball handling and size in there at the same time. And with 1:40 left in the first period, we are tied <coughs> at 17. Long, dangerous pass, but Samillion finds Marshall. Blocked at the rim, but there's Samillion picking up the loose change for the Saints. Yep, you got to get back. Gather yourself on D. Boy, Shani, I'm going to let it go. Oh, nice crossover on Marshall. Left hand is no good, but he'll go to the line. That is a grown-up yep. big boy move from Josh Santiago. Yeah, not only a quick first step, how about the second one to get him to the rim? Two steps to the rim from the three-point line. Yeah, first step was quick, second step was explosive, mm. and he was at the rim before you knew it. They yeah, like the bounce at the top of the circle, the move, the crossover, explosion. Now, I know Mark Jones likes his team to get out and run, but if there's ever a time to slow it down, you got be 17 it. fouls in the first period, mm. and if, if Marshall gets another one, I mean, they're going to be in some trouble here. you got to find a way to get to the half without just letting them shoot free throws the whole time. Santiago hasn't missed one yet. He has 11. Marshall, dangerous, finds Samillion. Samillion gets stripped, but comes back with it. Williams pulls up baseline, no good. Marshall on the weak side, hangs in the air, can't get it to go, and Santiago comes out of the pack. And we're going to get a foul, and it better be against Brassaw because if it's against Marshall, that's his second. Brassaw would be his third. And it's going to be a one and one. Fouls on Brassaw. I mean, it's his third, but that's still better than the second on Marshall. Oh, the second, I'm sorry. Second Check foul. Check that, on I'm sorry. Yep. But that's also eight fouls in the first period. So I think Mark Jones is looking for a call on Marshall. He said he got bumped as well. He's like, probably pointing to fouls. It's 8 3. He's down there talking to the ref right now emphatically. So two free throws for Santiago. Basic hasn't had the lead since they were up 3-0. Right. Ironically, it was this guy, Joshua Santiago, who gave him the 3-0 lead. And he gives him the 2019 lead. 12 in the first quarter. 
for the senior. And Wheeler's going to go back in the game here with two fouls. Has to play smart. He'll give Brassaw the rest. Do you think that helps Mark Jones in the year of an official during the free throws? Yes. It helps a little bit. Yeah. Look at look what's going on up there. Yeah, eight three. You got a nice job by Marshall coming back to the basketball to help Wheeler. Long pass to Williams. Marshall swings. Samillion drives baseline. Oh, and we're gonna get a foul. No, travel. we're gonna get a travel as he shuffled the feet. If he had just gone straight, he had unobstructed to the basket. Saints certainly have opportunities. They've just got to do a better job at the basket. Hammonds, quick first step, crosses over Gray, pulls up at the foul line, too strong, and it'll be the Saints' ball. Bit of a push off there, too. Foul looking for it, a little clear out. Upchurch Rudd's going to come back in their ball game, replacing Hammonds. Coach Lofton was not happy about the Hammond shot. Saints would be wise to That's take the last shot here. Quite the stare down he got from Coach Lofton, too. Marshall, long pass to Similian. Three pointer, high archer, no good. Marshall with the rebound, kicks out. Wheeler drives, finds Similian. Floater no good, out of the pack, up ahead of everybody, up Church Rudd, and a four point basket lead. Well, St. Bernard just can't knock down the easy ones. Gray's gotta go if he wants to get one off. And they won't get one off, four point basket lead, St. Bernard's needs answers. Come on back, second quarter action, you're watching Game Day Live on theday.com. All that's good begins with a smile, and your smile is our top priority. Our entire team is dedicated to providing the personalized, gentle care you deserve. Commitment to our patients includes information that leads to more informed decisions about their oral health needs. We hope you'll find this website both useful and interesting. Contact us today at waterforddentalhealth.com. The Day is committed to giving our readers the best in sports coverage. Our staff dedicates itself to the in-depth stories, photos, columns, and video content our readers know and trust. Subscribe today to receive full access to all our coverage. Theday.com slash subscribe. So hand with a 20 to six lead over New London and NFA up, what, 16-13 after the first quarter in your out-of-town ECC state tournament scoreboard. There's a little Santiago coming up. Casey knocking down a three-pointer. Catch, shoot, the delivery. He has led the chit way with 13 points for the Lions in the first quarter. All right, danger time right here. Down four, eight fouls. Basket with an open look. Santiago for three, no good. But a tip, also no good. But now they're getting out hustled on top of it all. Swing out, three ball, short, and finally, Marshall corrals it. Here comes Gray. Gray, all the way to the basket, left hand, Amir Gray. He can make some plays at the rim, he's just gotta finish, and that time Gray sends it in. A lot of opportunities for Basic on the offensive glass. We're going to get a hold on Gray, and that's going to be a one-and-one. Yeah, one. and Gray is calling for the hook on the offensive end. And that's his second foul. He may have a point there, too. Congratulations to the Bacon Academy girls basketball team. A 32-28 win over East Hampton, and they are headed to the sun. So an opportunity for Coach John Shea and the Bacon Academy girls. The lone team on the ECC girls side of things will be playing at Mohegan Sun for a chance at the Class M championship. That's about the score of this game in the second quarter. You know, at, boy, you're 7-13 left before half, and you've got three key players 
four players, right, with two fouls. They're going to be in the Malls, double. They're going to be in the double bonus. Brassaw, Wheeler, and Gray all have two persons. And they're going to be in the and they're going to be in the double, double bonus, bonus yeah. for an entire quarter. Now, to their credit, Basic has shot excellent from the free throw line. They have been outstanding. St. Bernard's has not been. The Basic has been fabulous. Up ahead it goes, Marshall. Back Settle to yourself here. Settle down. Work the offense. Get a good look. Samillion kicks out. Gray with an open look three. Got it. Yeah, there you go. You see the patience. You see two, three, four passes on the offensive end. Knock down a triple. Much better half court piece by the Saints. Santiago wants it with Samillion down on the block. Spins, hangs in the lane. Good defense That's from Samillion. That's great Samillion. defense. Wheeler. That run out. Wheeler has numbers. Finds Williams. Three ball is nothing but the bottom of the net. Up ahead, Santiago blocked by Marshall. There's only room for one of us in this town, says the Marshall. Lazy pass from Gray. Got to get back on D. And Basic wants to take their time. Hanging in the air and can't get it to go was Tertullian, but it's going to stay here with Bassett. No, I think it's, over, it's going to be overturned. Yeah, nice job. Yeah. Nice Good job enough. from Michelangelo Palmieri, who went in and overruled the call, and the other official violently showed <laughs> yeah, yeah. that, in he, fact, that was the call. He's a, he's a, he's a, <laughs> I think he might have torn a rotator cuff telling us it was St. Bernard's basketball. Oh, look at you, word of the day. Yeah. Marshall, dangerous spot. Finds Wheeler. Wheeler's got a had a wide open Samillion and instead gets the touch foul from Nashawn Scott. Only the fourth foul on Basic. <laughs> Jamie and Nin back into the ball game. So Bassett gets a little bigger and longer. Hammonds is the only sub six footer on the floor right now. Gray, stutter steps, kicks out to Samillion. Wheeler, good look three. Got it. Oh, he needed that too. Tyson needed to knock that one down. He's been a little cold lately. Buries the triple. Now I like, see I like that call by Palmieri on the far yeah. side. Don't call the foul. He's you trying get, to get out of the way. Right. And you give, you give Basic the basketball, right? So you got the right. There. Coach Bernie Lofton wants a timeout. His team is down five. I think he wants to talk to the refs. He wants a full timeout. Now he's asking some questions. You know, that was a good look that time for Wheeler. That's what we said he needed to do. Spot up, knock down those shots. If he can knock down those shots, Gray can break down off the dribble. Right. That's an effective half-court set for St. Bernard. Plus, I think Tyson is one of those kids who needs to play with confidence. And if he's missing shots, he doesn't have confidence. But if he knocks one down and he gets cooking, he could be a handful. And like you said, it opens up a lot of things out there. So good for him, good for his confidence. Gray's knocking a few down. Williams is knocking a few down. The guy that New London needs to get, I'm sorry, New London, St. Bernard's going to get cooking is Marshall a little bit. He's had so many chances by the rim. Now, he's a guy, too. If he could get one to go in, St. Burns would be all right here. Yeah, and they got to withstand a couple more minutes of uh, the foul trouble, right. and then it'll be a little bit more manageable. But, you know, going back to Wheeler, uh, he's a kid that thrives off of emotion, plays really, really hard uh, when, the, when the, uh, the crowd's behind him. He really likes that. And tonight, he's got multiple reasons sure. to play a little extra. He's got he's, he's mom, mom and dad. dad yeah, 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 yeah. They're all in here tonight. Uh, Kennedy up 17-12 at the end of one over Ledger, the other ECC team in action tonight. So NFA. Every New time London, I look at you, I think New London. That's I why I was looking right at you. I said New London's playing. Right. As you should. Every time I look at you, I think Wheeler Lions. Uh, that's right. Which is why the Basic Lions. I'm not going to call them Wheeler though. That's a nice move 
in the lane yeah. from Damian Nin. Yeah, set piece off the timeout. Uh, the delivery by Nin. Oh, hook. Gray crosses over, drives, kicks to Marshall. Nice, smart move, but can't get it to go. Similian tips it to Marshall, who knocks it out of bounds. That was a smart move by Marshall to pull up, mm. but you got to knock it down. You got that feeling, that little pit in your stomach that Marshall have, should have like eight or ten tonight. That's exactly right. They like the mismatch, Nin on Wheeler. Wheeler's fronting them, but they like that mismatch. They're going to try to get the ball on Wheeler with the two fouls. Nice trap up top. And a bullet from Hammonds that went over everybody. Hammonds is coming out again. Nope. Wait, one play and you're in the coach's doghouse in Bassett. There's no doubt yeah. about that. Gathers is going to have a seat. Back into the ball game is Thomas. We had some good minutes earlier in the game. Coach wants hands to be ready. That's what that was about. You've got to get your hands up. Yep. That, pass, that pass has got to find your hands. There goes Williams. Hangs and can't get it to go. Santiago will come down with it for Bassett. Now, that's a strong move at the basket by Josh Santiago. Uh, 17 for Santiago. There's the difference. The finish there and the miss on the other end. It's a four-point swing. Marshall's going to get a blocking foul as he went to the basket. And that'll Thomas. creep the... Bassett fouls up. Boy, I got a feeling if St. Burns can survive this next 347 without getting down too much with the disparity in fouls, and they're going to be all right in the second half. So I am not, I am not one to question uh, a coach like Coach uh, Lofton and Bassett with great program, but how do you get in a rhythm when you're exchanging parts this often? He's got different guys yeah. coming in nonstop. How do you get a rhythm with a team? I'm just curious. Strong move to the basket. Santiago comes up with it. And a blocking oh. foul on Similian. I think that's the right call. I think he got there a step late. Oh. It's going to be two shots. The first Similian's foul. first, yeah. I think it's a good call. I, well, I'll tell you what. Here's how you make it work with all the moving parts. Keep number zero on the floor. Yeah, How's I've that? I've no, yeah, I've noticed he hasn't that's good bench. coaching right there. Yeah, he's he got 17 going. tonight. Yeah, and he can do a little bit of everything. Yep. I mean, he's a very talented player. And most importantly, free throws. Knocks him down, huh? Seven for seven, I believe, from the line. Might be even eight for eight. Game tied at 30 with 328 remaining here in the first half. And there he goes, Santiago puts Basic back on top. 6-0 run for Basic. Wheeler picks his dribble up, lazy pass. Kicked off of the direction. Santiago hangs at the rim and scores. 21 for Santiago, danger zone time for right now for St. Bernard's. Williams turns on the Jets. Reverse layup. Oh, Devin Williams is fancy. 12 for Williams to lead the way for the Saints. And good hands by Williams as well. See, that's good D. That's good on the ball D. Five second call, no. And good defense as well. Tertullian couldn't get it to go down. Now goes Williams to the basket, kick out. Similian drives. Gray splits, and a bad pass from Amir Gray. Numbers in the other direction for Bassick. Nice look, and a finish by Hammonds. Good look from Upchurch Rudd. Boy, you missed opportunities for the Saints. They turn it over, and that's what Bassick wants. Easy buckets in transition. Lazy passes yeah. on two trips, Wheeler and Gray. Wheeler, quick trigger three, got it! Uh, talk, nice, so nice! Talked about him with his confidence, get cooking, catching, shooting rhythm, knocking it down. Six for Tice. Looks the pressure, his dad's in the stands, huh? Bassett, 
Has the ball with Santiago, gets a high screen, screen and roll, and a little too strong for Damian Min. Coach wants him in there, pressure. Comes the 2-1-2. Two, two. Gray, stutter steps, hangs, and Amir Gray will go to the line and shoot two as he is so adept at getting body contact yeah. as he gets to the rim. And he's quick too, he's, he's, he's fast, he's a tough cover. Once he broke that pressure, you saw the middle, Casey, wide open, off the bounce. The move to the rim, gets to the line to shoot two, six per 16 fouls now on Bassett. I'm gonna tell you what this game reminds me of just a little bit. Prince Tech Waterford a couple years ago, uh -huh. when everyone said, can Waterford run with Prince Tech, who is you know, crazy athletic. Yeah. And Waterford ran with him. And then Mikey Bassetto got in foul trouble. And Waterford had to change tactics and, and other people had to step up. Okay. I think before this is over, who on St. Bernard's is going to step up because the foul trouble is going to start becoming yeah. an issue. But yeah, and I still think Marshall's the X factor here in the second half. He's got some good looks. He's just got to knock him down. And we said the Saints can't get out and run with Bassett. That's what they've been their mm. most effective, out running with Bassett. Good defense by Marshall. Wheeler has his pocket picked. And a strong left hand by Upchurch Rudd. Got to take care of the basketball. Gray heads to the middle. Kick out. Williams for three. Short. Gray comes up with a loose ball. Finds Samillion. The Saints up one. 45 seconds remaining. Long three, no good from Hammonds. Wheeler with the rebound. And I beat the pressure. Numbers. Marshall hangs. Euro step. Basket is good. Three point Saints lead. Last shot for Bassick. Powell drives. And oh, he's going to get a bailout call. Who's it on? Foul's going to be on Similian. That's his second. So Similian has two. Gray has two. Marshall has two. Wheeler has two. Malls has two. And Brassaw has two. Basic has shot the ball exceptionally well from the free throw line. Powell knocks that one down. Powell, a freshman, getting big minutes here. Eight seconds remaining. Powell's second one is good. We're going to get a sub in the game. Tertullian is in the ball game. And they're going to put Santiago on the ball with a little... Different look pressure here. Wheeler. And a turnover. So St. Bernard turns the ball over, gives Bassick an opportunity to go into halftime with the lead. They trail by one, seven seconds remaining. And right now the Saints can't get another foul. All the way, uncontested, is Upchurch Rudd. And that's going to take us to halftime. And because of the foul trouble, Bassick able to go up one because the Saints could not foul. The sports doctor is with head coach Bernie Lofton. Sports doctor. Coach, you guys take a one-point lead into the locker room. Talk about your player, your team in the first half. Well, we played hard. It's just so loud in here. And, you know, uh, they just got to get used to the basket. They're sharing the ball. We're doing things. Some shots ain't falling for some of our people, but we'll be all right. How do you take away that three-point shooting on the outside? Well, we have to go out and play man-to-man -man at the full court. We can't play on the zone because they find that man too easy. So we have to go man-to-man -man extremely the, full, the whole way. All right, good luck in the second half, Coach. Casey? Thank you, Sports Doctor. Foul trouble, but still a one-point deficit for the Saints. We're at halftime here at the Little School on the Hill. You're watching Game Day live on the day.com.
Just I've always known because everybody was always telling me how good my dad was. Well, I knew he was always an NBA basketball player and played overseas, and he had a very good college career and a high school career. I remember uh, they were playing in the ECC championship game, and I want to say I may have been in sixth grade, and I went to see him, and, you know, he was impressive, very impressive. And it was really just, uh, the past, like, maybe, like, three years, you could really see the highlights and how dominant he was in high school and how good he was in college with his teams and how much basketball impacted his life, which led to impacting my life too. It's a lot of pressure that comes with that, you know, and I try to tell him too, like, listen, there ain't too many people that came around this area that is as good as your dad. And what you're doing is laying your own legacy. And the way he's handled it has been awesome. Pressure, not really, but I know I have to go out there every single night and prove that I'm not just his son, I'm actually my own player myself. But this is one of the most talented teams that I've been on, and now it's just my job to make sure that it meshes well together. Making them understand that with this talent, they don't have to do as much either. You know, and we have a, you know, a saying, giving up a good shot for a great shot. And with this team, they all can create. So uh, they've done an unbelievable job of you know, sharing the wealth and playing together and playing as one. So I couldn't be more proud of this group. Frank and Walker would always tell us, like, help us and be leaders on the court. And I would sometimes lay back, but now I got to be vocal to lead our team to help the other freshmen and sophomores. If I'm doing the right thing, they're going to go out there and do the right thing. If I play hard, they'll play hard. I'm just proud of him, man. And, you know, the way he's grown up, that comes with a lot of ownership and leadership, too. And he's done it, you know, throughout this whole year. And it's been a process, and he's worked at it, and I couldn't be more proud of, of, a, of a kid. All that's good begins with a smile, and your smile is our top priority. Our entire team is dedicated to providing the personalized, gentle care you deserve. Commitment to our patients includes information that leads to more informed decisions about their oral health needs. We hope you'll find this website both useful and interesting. Contact us today at waterforddentalhealth.com. The Day is committed to giving our readers the best in sports coverage. Our staff dedicates itself to the in-depth stories, photos, columns, and video content our readers know and trust. Subscribe today to receive full access to all our coverage. Theday.com slash subscribe. How many sets coming in? I play for the Denver Crusaders. I go to North Tech. Early on, uh... Obviously, flag. We were we went to Grizzled. I went to Grizzled for middle school, so it was a big part of our life because my brother played, and I always watched him when I was little, little. And we just got involved in flag, and then that's how I met most of my buddies from middle school and elementary school is through football, and I just kind of grew passion for it. How did you choose Norwich Tech? Uh, my brother went there, and seeing how he got out of uh, high school and how he was successful, it really kind of. I was passionate about it. Like, I really wanted to go there. Yeah. A big influence on me, uh, my brother. He's been a really big influence on me. He just motivated me all the way through when I was little. Uh, he's always helped me out. He's taught me a bunch of stuff, and he's helped me train for football. How is it playing with a group of guys that are not all in the same school every day? It's an adventure. It really is because... Uh, most teams, you know, the kids grew up playing together. They grew up in middle school playing football together. We didn't really have that. We just kind of, at some workouts, we see them, we meet them, and then we start playing with them. It's awesome, though. I love all of them. A lot of it is we'll hang out outside of practice because we have practice, but that other time that we can spend together, it really gels us together as a team. We have uh, pasta dinners every uh, pregame day or night, and uh, we'll do breakfasts right before the game every time, which we love. And, well, a, a couple of us will go out to dinner right after the, uh, we get a win, which is awesome. We all love it. And who's someone that's been important to you in Definitely school? Definitely my uh, shop teacher, Mr. Stockton. He's helped me, he's helped me through a lot, and uh, he's taught me about the trade, and he's been a role model for me. After high school, uh, kind of undecided so far, but I'm really looking to join the military and then pursuing my trade in the military. 
I'm Luke Anthony and I run cross country at East Lime High School. It's, it's huge for me. Uh, I mean, not, not only on the running front, but triathlon, which is my main sport, the team culture is such a huge part of it. And even in triathlon being um, an individual sport in terms of scoring, I still find that the team culture is one of the most important parts of my training on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, it's, you'll never make it to the top doing it by yourself. It's, it's crucial that you have people around you with the same mindset and the same uh, physical abilities so they can push you in workouts. Uh, same thing in cross country. It's great to be around uh, these younger guys who are getting better day by day and who have that mindset to want to bring themselves to the next level. You can't hide in this sport, which is what I love about it. You know, maybe some team sports, you, you may be able to hide and some of the other team players can sort of pick up your weight. But in, in running, it's, it's only you on that course. It's a team scoring, but once you hit that line, it's everything that you have on that day. So that's what I love about it. It's, a, it's a definitely a mentally tough sport, but it's pretty straightforward. And whoever's showing up that day, uh, the smartest in terms of their tactics and strongest in terms of their physical abilities, that's who's going to end up on top. It's hard to pick one lesson that stands out to me, but uh, the, the amount of time it takes to go all in on something is, is, is an investment. Um, I've learned to not look at them as sacrifices because I truly love what I'm doing. And while there are parts of your life that have to uh, get put on the back burner at times, um, I believe that what I'm doing and what the team's doing is an investment for the future. Uh, on the running front, I'm going to be going to Providence College and doing track and cross country there. Uh, I'll still be continuing on the triathlon front as sort of the long-term goal post-collegiately. I'll still be racing during the summer. Um, I, I did have the opportunity to join the Olympic Development Program, but I do think that this is going to be the, the best avenue for me to see what I can do on the NCAA front. And do you know what you're going to study at? I'm undecided, but I'm thinking about kinesiology or environmental science. The best player I ever saw play at New London High School, Tyson Wheeler, here in attendance watching his kid Tyson and the Saints hang in there, one He's point deficit at halftime. Hard not to like. You know that he is uh, extremely personable, charismatic, uh, passionate. Will talk to anybody in the gym and talk to us and just the, he's, he's awesome. Keeps wearing Lakers gear. I could learn to not like him. I don't know <laughs> where he's getting that from, but anyway, uh, Listen, what a first half of basketball, 41-40. You know, Williams in the corner for three, knocks it down. Uh, but just a really, really good first half of basketball, a little one-sided with the fouls. Four players right now for St. Bernard's with two personals, how that affects them. At least nobody has three. They survived that first half without anybody picking up a third. But, you know, two things. First of all, A, St. Bernard's is athletic enough to play with Basic. Uh, two, the Santiago kid is really good. And three, I, I think if St. Bernard's can take care of the basketball and slash get Marshall going, they've got a tremendous opportunity to win this game. Well, you mentioned Santiago, and he has been the best player on the floor. Josh Santiago has been unstoppable uh, up and down the floor. We'll see here, a little bit of everything. You know, easy score, does a little bit of everything. That time we that saw Damian Nin. 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 yeah. But Santiago's been the best guy on the floor all game long. But, you know, Devin Williams, we kind of don't talk about. When we talk about the freshmen, we always kind of start with Gray and Marshall. Yeah. When we talk about the Saints, we talk, we go to Similian and, and Wheeler. Yeah. And, and Williams. He's got 12. Might he's, be, he's leading the team, yeah. He might be the fastest guy on the floor. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about Santiago here is in the open floor, Casey. Look at that step to the rim, the hang and the finish. I mean, that is just, and he can knock down a three, and I think he's uh, eight for eight from the free throw line. So, you know, when the coach out there is getting a little hot under the collar, Bernie Lofton, and shuffling players in and out of the lineup, it ain't number zero. Some halftime scores for you. NFA with a seven-point halftime lead, 31-24. Over prep. Hand, 30-20 to over New London at halftime. Yep. Uh, Portland. 1918 over Wyndham at halftime. Yep. And 35 29 Ledger down at halftime. Oh, so we got a team in the lead. We got a, a team, Tita Totter, getting blown out. We got two in the mix. And Bacon girls already on their way. So, so far, so good. If nothing else, the ECC has a team playing in a championship game. Gray, jump stop, finds Marshall, and he can't get it to finish. But Gray 
with an athletic save out of bounds, and it's going to stay Basic basketball. Wow, Marshall's got to knock that one down or just dunk it. I think he just needs it for his confidence at this point. He has zero points. Two, just two. I'm sorry. Yeah, one finish at the on the Euro step. Mm. Missed a lot of shots around the basket. I like what Coach Lofton said as Wheeler got a hand on it about them playing man to man and not getting getting out of that zone. Let's see how St. Bernard's uh -huh. responds to that. Here's a nice matchup, Hammonds on Gray. Santiago on Similian, drives, hangs, can't get it to go, good box out. Marshall, up ahead now, numbers. Too late, Similian found Williams, but it was too late. Wheeler, long three, go! Nothing but the bottom of the net. Well, I, <laughs> I think he hit that first one and kind of feeling it a little bit, the catch and shoot in rhythm, no thinking, son, rise up. Bury it. Back up top. And this is the pace I think St. Burdage likes. Give him a little breather. Yeah. Marshall did a nice job jumping out. Use that zone to protect your guys who are in foul trouble. Hammonds, baseline, hangs. Oh, nice job by Gray, weak side. And jump a ball, jump ball. Good ball. Call, that's a good shot. That's a good call. That's dangerous by Amir Gray to go up and make that attempt at a block. Gets away with it. It's March. Santiago. Harassed by Wheeler. Drives baseline. Nice D by Tyson there. Similian also a nice job. High screen. Samillion recovers, beautiful move, spin, kick out, Santiago three, in and out, tipped, and another one, and finally Marshall rips it down. Williams. Gray to Marshall, and he'll go to the line and shoot two. Well, that time Marshall again, the delivery by Gray, Marshall at the rim, still can't convert, but he gets to the free throw line to shoot two. I'll and I got to think right now, it's just in his head that he can't make a layup. I would agree with you. And Gray that time, I mean, he hung in the air mm. as long as he could yep. to get commitment. Yes, yes, he did. And make that pass. And that was, I mean, it was he was tantalizingly close. Yeah, right now, Amari Marshall's playing tight on the offensive yeah, side. Yeah, the, the basket has a lid on it, and the cylinder seems about six inches in circumference for him right now. Three-foot putt. Yeah. And it looks like the size of a fly. Yeah. That's what he's got right now. One more for Marshall. And can't get that one to go either. And that's a couple of empty trips for the Saints from the free throw line. Hammonds with Marshall. He can still block shots. Take care of it. That ball was tipped. In the corner, Williams drives. Blocking foul, right. good call on the floor and it'll stay at Saints ball. He may not be able to get any to go down on the offensive end, but Amari Marshall. Yeah, he's playing big time, yeah. Blocking shots, rim protector. Underneath, Gray will inbound. The Saints have had a couple good looks off the inbounds. Similian drifts out. First step by Santiago, left hand, yeah. scintillating, uh, Cedric Similia. Yeah, that's a good move. Shielded the defender with his body with the left. The little kiss, four-point lead, St. Bernard's. You know, I think with Similia and 2KC, when he makes up his mind to go to the rim, he's a tough guy to keep away from it. You've got to check him on the outside. He gets a step on the inside. He's very, very hard to keep away from the cylinder. They jump out on Santiago. And this pace is definitely yeah. favoring St. Bernard. It's giving them a little bit of breathing room. Yeah, keep it. Ah, a it's a nickel touch foul on Williams. I was just going to say that zone and this pace is trying to, is really protecting their guys from picking up third personals. The well, good news is. That's, that's Williams' is first, yeah.
Yeah, Bassick has not scored a point. Yeah, we're almost uh, halfway through the third period. No points yet for uh, the Lions. Santiago, he's been the guy that's been able to get them going. Oh, oh nice, nice block from behind. Oh, that's great. Tell him making plays out there, huh? And a child shall lead them. Three freshmen, Gray, fearless. Oh, it's just so good with decision making in the air is Gray. You saw the dump down earlier to Marshall that time. I'll finish it myself, coach. Good hands and an unfortunate bounce, but Santiago is always where he's supposed to be. Another basket for the senior. Watch out for the dribbling from Tyson. Similian, step back three, no good. Ill-advised shot, yep. I don't think Mark Jones liked that one. Too quick in the set. I don't think they know how to play slow. That's part of the problem. They have to get, find a way to be a little more deliberate in the offensive set on the half court. Gray, yeah. steal, one on three, hangs, fouled, it'll go to the line. No fear, Amir. Boy, this kid is taking the game over defensively in the third quarter and it's leading to easy buckets on the offensive end whether it's a dump down to Marshall or a couple of hang and glide and can this kid finish he's special look at the hang in the air the little ah. bit of harm and the hoop and he's playing with some passion hang harm and hoop sports doctor triple h triple h yeah. <laughs> and he knocks down the bonus Back to a seven point St. Bernard's lead. 14 for Gray, three players in double figures right now for Mark Jones and St. Bernard's. And there's another steal by Gray. Two on one with Wheeler. Dipsy do for two. Amir Gray has got the Saints fired up and Bassick wants a timeout. Nine point Saints lead. A little pocket picking, a little uh, I took your lunch money, maybe, by Amir Gray, and I'll cash it in for double lunch at the rim, he says. He's got that crossover figured out. Yes, back to does. back times, he got his hand right in the crossover before it could happen. And that defensive play. Here you go. There's your lunch money, dribble in. I'll have extra pizza and extra dessert for two. You know, I want to give a shout out to Don Macrino and all of the uh, administration here at St. Bernard's along with the student section here at St. Bernard's because you know, we kind of didn't talk about it. The first thing when you talk to Bernie Lofton, this is a guy who's coaching at Bassick. They've played in the, you know, the biggest arenas, the smallest gyms, the most hostile places. Yeah. And the first thing he said was, it's so loud in here. Yeah, we can't hear nothing. This is a great yeah. environment tonight. Uh, and the students, yeah. They're in it. The crowd is full. The Bassett cheerleaders, it's loud. The red out for the Good Saints. Good juice. Good I, juice in this building after after COVID and yeah. all the nonsense and everything. Well, when you get the Bassett coach to say it's loud. That's, yeah, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Nine points, St. Bernard's lead. Now the question becomes foot off gas, foot on no, gas. No, foot on gas, baby. Keep it going. And just two points in the quarter, so you're – Basically, with four minutes and 59 seconds in, you only got two points. And it was a Santiago putback. Off of a loose ball. Yeah. Up Church Rudd with Wheeler on him. In the corner now. Bassett being a little deliberate. Playing tentatively on the offensive end. Santiago with Williams, it's a good matchup. Williams playing very nice yeah. defense. And, you know, tempo fa you know, favoring St. Bernard's right here. Oh, and oh, Williams had the steal. Bad, can I say that on air? That was a bad call. Yes, you just That did. was a bad, Santiago was falling down in the offensive end, and w all Williams did was jump the pass. He did not have any kind of contact whatsoever. I, that was a bad call. Now it's going to be the second foul on Williams. So now I believe the entire Saints nice. starting five has two. I I'm going to tell you something. If I was Mark Jones in that position, I'd be teed up. I would just 
lose my mind. Well, oh, I, I think with a nine-point lead, you don't want to do something like that. Yeah, uh, I mean, I would. That's well, why I'm not coaching. I was about to say, that's, you know, not a good look for you. Samillion, good defense. Back-to-back, -back, handsy plays by Samillion. That's why I'm just designated the summer league. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't get teed up in the summer league. <laughs> no. Do they even bring whistles in the summer league? No, not really. <laughs> Nation Scott will Call inbound. your own, you know, call your own. It's your own fouls. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Big Navian Thomas wants the ball on the block. Instead, now Santiago wants it with Williams, but right. they're not able. Straight away, three. Nation Scott knocks down the triple. And, oh, look at the, oh, you know, I thought Samillion yeah. got a pass that he had no chance at, but he came down on the end line. Right now with two minutes left, Mark Jones wants them to settle down. Gray with another handsy steal. And I got an own whistle here or a foul away from the ball? Foul away from the ball. Fouls on Basic, 12 maybe on Thomas. So that was another Amir Gray steal yep. into the hands of Williams, who went off to the races. Yeah, and that big matchup, I think, you know, it's something to point out on the defensive end for St. Bernard's. We got Williams, you know, basically in Santiago's grill. They've taken him kind of out of his game here in the second half. Two points in the second half, 21 in the first. Back to the pressure, a little man pressure now. Like Gray can measure you up and beat you off the bounce. Savvy player, is he not? Williams, pick and roll, finds Marshall, and he scores yeah. improbably at the basket. Yeah, that was Tyson Wheeler again on the delivery that time on the pick and pop by Marshall. To be jump ball. And Williams on the loose change on the outside. We're going to get Amari Williams. Oh, Williams, I'm sorry. Excuse me, Amari Marshall, rather. Yep. Amari Marshall away, and that's going to be his third or his second? Second. That's his second. All right. And five guys with two fouls. Open look. Scott for three. No good. Marshall with the rebound. And here goes Gray. Up ahead, Williams to a cutting Marshall. Nice ball movement. Wheeler for three. Back iron too strong. But there's Marshall with the save. Williams spots up for three. No good. Samillion with the rebound. And Cedric... Samillion at the basket. Up ahead, Basic to run. Marshall at the rim. But Santiago, no, excuse me, Nin cleans it up. All right, good action back and forth. A little flop job there, play on. Samillion, kick out to Gray. Take care of the basketball. And he draws the foul. And Amir Gray yeah, will go and shoot two, hanging on the baseline. Yeah, and Gray got lucky there. It was a bit of a bailout call. But St. Bernard's, you know, up eight, up ten, coming off of a made basket. Just settle down. Gather yourself. Get things organized on the offensive end. So we got a Catholic school guy sitting next to you, Mike DeMar. I, I need to understand this. Why is their mascot a St. Bernard? They're it's not the St. Saint. Bernard St. Saint Bernards. Mm -hmm. They're the St. Bernard Saints. Shouldn't their mascot be a saint? Just, I just, I just don't uh, I mean, get like, it. Huh? I just don't get it. I'm easily confused. Gray missed the first one. He's got to knock this one down. And he gets the friendly touch. 31 seconds left. Basic trails by nine. Hammonds with Gray on him. High screen, Hammonds goes right by Gray. Gray got him on the strip from the reverse side. Up ahead, Marshall, and he lays it in at the rim. Other direction, Santiago. And they're gonna get a foul as Santiago went to the basket. Who's it gonna be on? It's gonna be on Wheeler, I think. Nope, it's going to be on Gray. That's his third. That's all right, though, heading into the fourth quarter. 19-7, to St. Bernard has outscored Basic by 12. 
Inbounds for Bassett. Hammonds, quick trigger three. No good, Similian with the rebound. What a third quarter for Mark Jones' Saints. They take an 11 point lead into the fourth quarter. Come on back and watch. You're watching Game Day Live on the day.com. All that's good begins with a smile. And your smile is our top priority. Our entire team is dedicated to providing the personalized, gentle care you deserve. Commitment to our patients includes information that leads to more informed decisions about their oral health needs. We hope you'll find this website both useful and interesting. Contact us today at waterforddentalhealth.com. The Day is committed to giving our readers the best in sports coverage. Our staff dedicates itself to the in-depth stories, photos, columns, and video content our readers know and trust. Subscribe today to receive full access to all our coverage. Theday.com slash subscribe. So Casey Tyson Wheeler are hot from the three-point line. Here you see the slip, the little down low cut by Marshall. And whatever works, and we talked about Marshall being productive, but I believe he had six points that quarter, I'm sorry, four points that quarter, and played some great defense by the rim. So finding a way to contribute, you know, tried to dunk a ball, laid it in, that time a little slip. So Marshall, I talked about him being one of those factors here down the stretch for St. Bernard's. I thought he played a great quarter. Yeah, I agree, and I think the defense ignited the offense, and he couldn't make bunnies. He needed the contact. Once, yeah, he, once he had some contact, yeah, he had got yeah. a couple to go in the basket for him. Big possession here uh, for Bassick defensively. These first three minutes of this quarter are huge for Bassick. And first time we've seen St. Bernard's willing to be a little bit more deliberate in the half court. And a bad pass by Amir Gray coming the other direction. That's a, a walk. Bad break. That's a walk. That's a good call. That's a, that's a bad break by for Upchurch Rudd. Tried to put the brakes on, and his foot slid for the travel. I wanted to see that ref put his hand up for a foul, and I was going to lose my mind up here in the booth. That was a walk. Gray to Samillion, dangerous. St. Bernard's got to protect the ball a little bit. Yeah. Wheeler finds it in the middle. Kick out. Devin Williams for three. Short. Wheeler comes down with it off the yeah. tip from Marshall. It I'm sorry, Marshall just doing yeoman's work down low. Lunch pail material that time from Amari Marshall. Keeping it alive, Wheeler on the spot. You know, and these extra possessions pay big dividends for the Saints. Inbounds from Gray. Nice look to Similian, and he can't get it to go. Had the look. Got to finish those. Yeah. Oh, bad reach. Right now, I think St. Bernard's starting to get a little tired, by the way. They're yeah. starting to reach a yeah, little, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. And Wheeler. Back to Similian. Can't dribble the basketball. You got to get rid of it. Steal. Bassett the other direction. Kick out. Three-pointer is long. Wheeler outmanned underneath. Marshall working hard, but he can't battle Hamilton. with Kenshawn Hamilton. St. Bernard's just got to protect the basketball yeah, here. Yeah, they are, they are extending on the defensive end. They're double teaming everything, too. Marshall, foul line jump shot, no good. Oh, look at Devin Williams. He can't finish. Left hand, no good, but he'll go to the line. Give the Saints credit, a lot of work on the offensive glass. Yeah, I mean, they have no problem shooting a three-pointer in this game. They can't buy one from two feet. But again, you know, you talk about St. Bernard's maybe being a little bit tired, Casey. They're still working hard out there, and they're creating second and third chance scoring opportunities. I love this substitution that we're about to see right here, as Williams will have two from the line for the Saints. He knocks the first one off the side rim. Malls is going to give Marshall a breather. Yeah. With 6-12 left, Malls hasn't been in since he got his two fouls. Use him up. Yeah. Go out there and play for a while. Right. Use your fouls up. Play hard. And Amari Marshall comes back in this game for the stretch run. That's a good, That's good, good substitution move. right there. St. Bernard's has been really bad at the free throw line. So, you know, that's been a big thing. Basic, yeah. Basic's only down 10. They probably had more points at the line uh, by 10. Roll reversal here is St. Bernard is in the bonus. 
Griffin, well, offensive foul that time. Offensive foul, and Amir Gray set that one up about yeah, six, six minutes ago. Six minutes ago, talking about the hook, so that's the 18th foul against Bassick. So St. Bernard's shooting the rest of the way, and only four, it was almost a row reversal here in the first and second half. Yeah, very much different. 14 fouls, I'm sorry for St. Bernard's. So yeah, the Saints will be in the bonus the rest of the way. Extending out on Gray. He finds Wheeler. Take care of it. Kick out. Open look for Gray for three. Got it. Amir oh, Gray knocks it down. Uh, the extra pass, 20 for Gray. The extra pass and the patience that time on the offensive end. All right, there's the foul on Malls. Which, you're okay with that. Yeah, that's what you're there for. You're there for to not give up easy baskets. And if you get fouls, you get fouls. Make him go to the line and earn him. That's a good foul. And he will go to the line and earn it. Jakari Tart uh, Tertullian will go to the line. It is a much different team offensively for Bassick or a much different team defensively for St. Bernard's here in the second half. I think it's a little bit of both. They've they've gone away from Santiago, and I think Williams is the credit for that a lot. He's been picking up the assignment and guarding him, but they've given him no space, no room to operate. And now it's about protecting the basketball. Nice pass, Wheeler to Williams. Gray. Samillion, and they're getting a little dicey with it here. And a timeout, timeout. Mark Jones. Yeah, good job. Good timeout. Listen, the other thing, too, is, again, St. Bernard's is shooting the rest of the way. One more one-on-one -on -one opportunity, then the double bonus after that. Good ball game there. I'm going to give uh, St. Bernard's a lot of credit for not shying away from their brand of basketball and getting up and down the floor with Bassett. I have a feeling, though, Sports Doctor, that Bassett's got one la last punch left in him. I think so. I think so. I think they're going to try and turn uh, St. Bernard's over. St. Bernard's, they take care of the basketball. They knock down free throws. They'll, they put themselves in a position to win a game. We talked about that all the time. Little things. Take care of the ball and knock down free throws. NFA up 42-41. Is that the end of three? Hand up 48-29 over New London. Kennedy 57-44 over Legend at the end of three, and Portland with a 36 to 35 lead at the end of three. I still don't, I, I, I have never been able to read Mike DeMauro's handwriting. I don't know if that's a three or a lasso or a loopy loop or something like that. No wonder why he types for a living. I thought it was a prescription for an approxim. Yep. Here you go by Gray on the outside to catch and shoot. And that came off of a set piece where St. Bernard's took care of the basketball, found the extra man in rhythm, and Gray not right now with 20. He's feeling it like Santiago fell in the first half. Well, right now the ECC has uh, a lead and four deficits. Two leads. Who's the other lead? And effect. All right, two leads and three deficits. There you go, two for three. Two out of three ain't bad, Meatloaf said. Two out of five. Gray dribbling, hangs, good defense. Touchdown pass the other way by Bassett. And a finish at the basket by Santiago. Yeah. And he's fouled. He'll go to the line. And here comes that punch. I told you Bassick still had. Yeah, yeah. A little frustration send in that time by Santiago. And just like that, Marshall will come back in. Well, that's the fourth foul on Malls. And I think that's what you needed. You needed Amari Marshall to get a couple minutes breather. I think he would have liked it more at the four-minute mark rather than at 5'11. But right now, they need to be able to withstand this punch. Santiago has been perfection at the free throw line tonight. Samillion drives, hangs, and scores at the basket. Up ahead, Santiago running the baseline, and Hammonds turns it over. Numbers. Gray to Wheeler for three. That's going to be side rim. That's a quick shot. Basic out and running. And Santiago loses it. Yep. Out of bounds. Turnover, St. Bernard. Well, nice job that time by Gray. Jumping the pass lane, disrupting the flow and the rhythm. Gray's a little bit of everything. So now that's a three. There's a three pointer by Wheeler. Quick. That, well, that's the seize the moment, stick the dagger in him mm. shot, that he, which is confidence. 
he's just got to know that that's not, it, that's not the best outcome. The best outcome is pull it out, take it 30 seconds off, and get a layup. Yeah, yeah or, or move the ball around the perimeter and get a clean look. So, you know, I, as much as that would have been the theatrical shot, the NBA dagger three, not the best mojo. NFA, what are they, up with 155 left, 49-48. So NFA in a dogfight with prep. Catfight. Catfight, yeah. Yeah. That's right, catfight. <laughs> now, here we get a dogfight. Yes. Well, the Saint actually, Saint it's, it's actually a saint and a lion, which is ironic in its But a lion life. and a dog. Well, Christians and saints, uh, lions and Christians, rather, going back along. There's a long history <laughs> of lions and Christians. What about the dog? What about the mascot? I think that's just a guy dressed up in a dog suit. <laughs> All right, he's, not the, he's the mascot. Here comes the pressure by Bassick. Wheeler's going to have to push a little Watch bit. That pressure on the backside. Finds Marshall, Similian. Yep. Back up top to Gray, and there's a foul, and he'll go to the line and shoot one-on-one. One. Yep. And a last opportunity for one-on-one. St. On one. Uh, Bernard will be shooting two shots the rest of the way, but right now, Basic doing what they have to do, double-teaming and selling out on defense. You know, Santiago was upset saying that's not a foul. He might be right, but they've called that all, all night game long. long yeah. So you have to understand that that's just the way it's going down. That's a big front end for Amir Gray. 21 for Gray. You know, and, and by knocking down these free throws, you know, Casey, maintaining a double-digit lead is huge right now for St. Bernard's. We talked it. about that, that, that punch. You know, that punch comes if Bassett can never get it to seven. That's right. Gray hounding Hammonds up top. Nice move, hang at the basket is good. Jakari Tertullian will go to the line and shoot the bonus. All right, here you go, nice little three-point play opportunity for Basic. Again, you get a stop. This thing maybe gets down to eight or seven. Free throw is good. And I keep saying Basic has really responded from the free throw line. Numbers. Up ahead, zip pass. And Marshall pulls it out oh, wisely. I had a, oh, a layup. Not the smart play. And instead, a turnover. Maybe it wasn't a smart play. Santiago. Dipsy do for two. Well, this is that lead now. We're down to seven. There's the punch. This is where you got to take advantage of layups, right? Sometimes under Leith, Marshall fumbled it. Wheeler spot up three. Got it! Tice with a clutch three. Boy, if Marshall's not confident to hit a layup, Tice is confident for the three-point line. 12 for Tyson. And he's ball 12 draw, from behind the arc. Yeah, he's going to draw a foul. Will be ball underneath for Bassett. I tell you, Marshall just doesn't want to shoot the basketball. Out to 1-1. One one. So Upchurch Rudd will shoot the front end of the one and one for Basic. Strong, but look at the nice rebound. Hanging in the air, Tartulian and finishes it on the third look. Oh, get a break there. Out of the pack, Saints, four on three, weak side, and we're going to get a foul on, no! Oh. They're going to call a travel, and that is a dubious call at best. Wow. Wow. Saints getting a little lucky on that one, I think. Well, Mark Jones got to call a timeout here, maybe to settle his team down a little bit. Eight-point lead with the ball, 314. They got to find a way to settle them. Good look, Williams. Hangs, blocked by Santiago. That's going to be a foul on Gray. He, he hammered him. They're going to call that on Williams. Okay. That's his third. Both teams in a double bonus after this foul. 
And uh, guess what? St. Bernard's just tired. Yeah, so who's, I mean, again, who settles this game down for St. Bernard's on the offensive end? Is it Gray? Has to be. He has the ball in his hands. Yeah. Has to be. Mark Jones can settle it down, too. Call a timeout. timeout. Yeah, I'd call timeout. Big free throw here for the sophomore, Eric Upchurch Rudd. Front end of one and one, down eight. And he gets every piece of the rim on that make. The shooters touch, 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 and in. One more. As Bassick looks to claw their way back in. Second one is good. The free throws remain a big difference here for Bassett. Gray finds Marshall. Kick back out to Similian. Similian floater, no good. Tipped, no good. Williams tipped, no good. Bassett comes out with it. Six point deficit with the ball. This one ain't over. Santiago, basket is good. And the foul and the momentum has shifted in favor of the Lions. Talking about that gut punch. 12 point lead a few seconds ago. And the score was 63 to 51. They've been outscored 14 to six. Timeout, Mark Jones and the Saints. Santiago's gonna go to the line and knock it down and make it a one possession game. Mm. And here's the thing, with 251 left in the game, I mean, we got, we got endless amount yeah. of time. 30 for Santiago. By the way, 21 in the first half, nine quietly here in the second half. Here we see, you know, again, the turnover, the missed opportunity, and St. Bernard's lazy getting back on Disa. That might be a little bit tired, but Santiago, the hoop and the harm. You saw a great look there from Jakari Tertullian, and I think he's been one of the guys who's really made a difference. The final score tonight, Kennedy 76, Ledger 63. And NFA... 53-51 leads with 23 seconds left. So we got two, two barn burners right now for the ECC. New London looks like it's going down. Ledger goes down. Wyndham still in a dogfight. Wow. Wyndham, New London getting cooked right now, 64 to 38. That is a final. And 47 to 44, Wyndham leads over Portland with 332 left. In the fourth. So we three ECC teams with a lead and two that have lost. Hey, I can stop you to read those scores with my hand, glasses. I'm hand telling Hand is you. very good. Hand is good. And it's nothing but net for Santiago. The pressure remains. Wheeler back to Gray. Turning up the pressure is oh. Wheeler's turnover for Bassick has the ball. Turnover by Gray. Tertullian, he's been so good. What a great look. Basket, no good. Nin couldn't finish, but Tertullian has been a rock star for Basic, getting them back in it. And Nin will go to the line to shoot two. Well, we talked about, you know, the youth of some of these teams, and I think it's starting to show a little bit for St. Burns right now. You gotta, somebody's gotta step up and settle things down. Those cross-court passes, and they're just lazy and sloppy, and Basic has turned it up. Well, I asked earlier in the first half, Where's the cohesion when you run out subs like he does? Mike DeMauro made a great point. He says, I don't think he cares. I think he just wants you to be more tired than him yeah. in the last two minutes of the game. Guess what? He, he's yeah. got them where they want them right now. And they make their free throws. But look at Tertullian. Jakari Tertullian has been unbelievable for Basic. Wheeler, jump stop, nice pass to Gray, and the Saints go back up by two. Barn burner here, wire job, on the hill. Good ball game, smarts baby, buckle up. Up top, Santiago for three, no good, hard on the side, but Hammonds tracks it down, drives baseline, gets Marshall in the air, and Tertullian tracks it down. He's on the end line. And they're going to say Wheeler touched it. All right. So I think that's a break for Bassick.
Wheeler's got four fouls. Oh, look at Hammond off of Gray's back. The trickery, the chicanery, and we're tied at 71. Gray, open look three, no good. And a strong rebound by Nin Basic with a chance to take the lead. Samillion almost had the steal. Instead, Santiago held on. And he wants to clear out with Samillion. Up Church Rudd, four fouls for Wheeler. Down to a minute left in a tie ball game. Looking to burn some clock. They want the last shot. A minute's a long time to hold the basketball. Both teams play in the him. bonus, though. I got to play him. Draw a five second call. Oh, look at the sidestep by Tyrese Hammonds. Basic up two. We got a foul. We're going to get a foul. On Hammonds. On Hammonds, which is going to put Gray at the line, and he's going to shoot two. Now they're going to say Samillion. Huh? So Samillion's at the line, shooting two. 37 seconds left. St. Bernard's down a basket. Boy, they were up 12 with four and a half minutes to go. I knew that punch was coming, Sports uh. Doctor. What a great environment tonight on the hill. And there's been the Achilles heel of the Saints tonight, not being able to knock down free throws, which means they're going to have to turn them over or foul. Yep. So Colin O'Leary. And Eli Bourbon are going to go into the game for foul purposes. Then get Wheeler out and Gray out. So Samillion's going to knock it down. This makes me think that they're going to foul intentionally. If he knocks it down, are they going to sub him back in? No, I mean immediately. You think they'll sub him right back in now? Or there's the there's the basket. Now they're going to pressure. And immediately reach in, they're going to get a foul on O'Leary. And that was the plan all along. Yeah, Mark O'Leary Jones almost wants, had that. He wanted to tie up, too. Mark Jones wants to control the destiny here. So two free throws for Tyrese Hammonds, who has come up big down the stretch. It's really been Tertullian, Santiago, and Hammonds mm. down the stretch for Bassett. And when in doubt, you want your senior at the line. Two free throws. First one is up and true. Nothing to it. Two point lead for the Lions. Wheeler and uh, Gray back into the lineup for Mark Jones. Here's a big free throw right here. Tyrese, nothing but net on the first one. Hammonds, second one is good. Three point lead for Bassick. And pressure. Gray gets a screen, drives, and finishes. Cuts the lead to one. Pressure and a foul. This time the foul will go against Marshall, and it'll send Upchurch Rudd to the line where he'll shoot two. Third foul on Marshall. This is the game we've been waiting for. Yeah, it's not that. I, yeah, it's, it's a good ball game. Good basketball game. And Bassett has been incredible from the free throw yeah. line. What a, I mean, to run as much as they run huh? and be this good from the line is exceptional. Is it nothing but net? No, everyone that they go to the line, they've been knocking it. They have to be shooting 95% tonight. Upchurch Rudd with 12. Talk about another guy helping out Santiago a little bit. Two point lead for Basic. This is the bigger one. And he, no, but look at the hustle from Tertullian. 
And out of bounds. Oh, a break for the Saints. Tertullian out hustled everyone to the rebound, but he stepped on the line. 21 seconds left, Saints down two with the ball. And a timeout, Mark Jones. I need some Gatorade sports. Yeah, you need something. I'm out of water, coffee's gone, everything's done. Good ball game. 21 seconds left to go. St. Bernard's down by two. There are both teams in a double bonus here on the hill. You know, and if you're Mark Jones, I you know, I guess you would try to get a shot off with maybe I I, I don't know, eight or nine seconds. Here, here's I the, mean, what do you do? Here's the dilemma for Mark Jones because they're in the double bonus. You get the layup, yeah, and you tie the game. You can't play great defense because all they got to do is make one at the line. Right. So the question is, do you want the last shot of the half, or do you want to go hard right now, get right back into the trap mode? Oh, I want to go hard right now. I want to get it up. Listen, I want to go for you know. I want to get this shot off uh, before nine seconds. Uh, I'll be honest with you because if you miss. Obviously, get a foul. They get a chance to go up four, but you've got to leave yourself a little bit of time on the back end. I just, I, I think running it down to the wires, really, really walking a tightrope. I would. And I'm gonna listen. I want my guy Gray handling the basketball here too. I wouldn't mess with nine seconds. I'd say if you're not gonna try for the, the last shot of the game, which I would understand why you wouldn't. Thirteen, I'm, ten, I'm going, going right to the rim. I'm going hard. Yeah, yeah. I'm going like at 15 seconds because if I miss, I got to give myself time for fouling yeah, back right. again. And if I make it and we're tied, I'm going right into the trap, and I'm fouling if I don't get the trap. Let them get back to the line again. First thing they got to do is not turn it over themselves. Marshall, back to Williams, to Gray. Got to go. 15 seconds remaining. Gray's got to get over the point, he does. Stutter step. Tipped. Williams drives. Left hand. Oh! Miraculous shot! Devin Williams at the buzzer! We're going to overtime! The freshman, Devin Williams, brings the crowd to life with a crazy left-hander at the buzzer. Boy, that thing broke down from the get-go for St. Bernard's, but Williams bailed him out on the back end. Youth being served. Freshman to freshman, Great Williams. And we gotta play four more minutes. What a great basketball game here at St. Bernard's. Unbelievable. 76, 76. There you go, things break down. Jump pass, tip, deflection. Williams, the little George Gervinish finger roll for two. Ah. 76 all, we got four more minutes to play. Both teams in the double bonus. A lot of fouls on the St. Bernard side of things. I, I would fully expect to see uh, a war of attrition here in overtime. Yeah, I agree. Oh, I would agree. And this, you know what? The free throw line was friendly to Bassick the entire game till that last miss. Very, very friendly. What a ball game here yeah. in Uncasville. You got your money's worth if you came out tonight or if you watched it on a day.com. Great atmosphere. Bassick battling back, clawing like the, you know, wonderful traditional winning program that they are. Iconic program, Bassick, coming all the way back, down 13. Santiago will re-jump it with Marshall. And Marshall will get the win. And the Saints will have the first possession. Gray with the basketball, has the mismatch. Dangerous pass though, Santiago got in the lane. Saints taking their time. Similian kicks back, 
Williams for three. No. Samillion can't get the rebound. Great job by Tertullian, who has played a great second half for Bassett. High screen, Tertullian pulls up, knocks it uh, down 15 foot off. on the baseline. Kids played great. 10 for the young man. Gray in traffic, floats and scores. 27 for Gray, a little coming out party tonight for the freshman on the big stage. Santiago's been quiet. You know he's ready to score a basket at a moment's notice, but it's been Tertullian and Hammonds who have done it here for Basic over the last quarter and a half. Stutter step, Tertullian hangs, no good. Marshall tips it. Gray, Samillion hangs, no call, but Gray picks up the loose change. Up two, the Saints. Here goes Hammonds. No good, but he strips it, does Tertullian. Crazy. It's getting a little crazy. Hammond stutter steps. Can't get it to go, but it does! Marshall. Back up top to Wheeler now. The Saints. St. Bernard's tired. I'm tired. Yeah. Wheeler kicks it. This is where Amir Gray has to step up. He's scored all night long. Williams, left hand, no good, but a blocking foul. And Williams will go to the line to shoot two. Electric first step for Devin Williams. Why these two freshmen have really grown up tonight on the big stage in the state tournament with Williams and Gray. I mean, these kids are gonna be a handful for three more years here at St. Bernard's. Hey, Gray's a little beat up. He's a little nicked up, but he's doing all right. Prep beat NFA at the buzzer tonight, too, Casey. 57-55. Uh, tough loss for Dave Cornish. And tired legs on that free throw. And arms. Devin Williams, one more. He's hurt. That's, he's hurting. Williams is grabbing his arm. It's just hurting a little bit. Second one, banks it in. I think he is bothered by yeah, it. Yeah, he's, look at No he's touch. Look at the coaching staff save my armor. It's that's why he's using the left. Uh -huh. He's banging with Tertullian. Spins off of him. No help. Oh, Jakari Tertullian. Where are you coming from? Gray spins in the lane. Williams kicks out to Gray again. Under a minute. Gray tries to find Marshall, but it ends up in Williams' hands. Kick back out. Open look for Gray for three. Wow. Got it. Up ahead. Hammonds running the floor. And he scores over Gray. And we're again tied at 84. Big time deliveries on both ends of the floor. My goodness. Every time out here for St. Burns to settle things down. Oh, loose changer on the outside. A foul on Hammonds away from the basket. We'll put Wheeler at the line to shoot two. To recap the last 10 seconds, an absolute dagger from Amir Gray, followed by an incredible return basket by Hammonds. Run out. And now Wheeler at the line to shoot two. First one is nothing but true, and a one point lead for the Saints. What a great ball game. Roller coaster ride. It's March, it's madness. One more for Tyson Wheeler. Back iron, no good. Tertullian with the rebound. Are they gonna get one shot? Or are they gonna go for the whole enchilada? Let's find out.
Gotta go. Last shot. It's five seconds. Crossover. Gray gets his hands on it. At the buzzer, stripped by Wheeler. Saints win. Saints win. And it's pandemonium on the hill. Mark Jones has won a quarterfinal home game and sends the Saints to the semis where they will face Daniel Hand. What a ball game. What an effort from Bassick back and forth. But at the end, Mark Jones and his Saints found a way to win the ball game on the defensive end. 85, 84. Unbelievable basketball game. The sports doctor will, of course, have head coach Mark Jones along with our Waterford Dental Health player, perhaps, or players of the game. Right now, it is just the joy, the exhilaration of victory. What an effort from the freshmen, Amir Gray, Devin Williams, Amari Marshall. A free throw from Tyson Wheeler, seals it at the end. What an environment here at St. Bernard's. The sports doctor has Coach Mark Jones and the entire cast of Saints. Well, Coach, pandemonium on the hill. Talk, Mark, you've been in this position a couple of times. You know, semi, the quarterfinals, China advance. Talk about, first of all, talk about the pure emotion right now you have. Ah, oh, man, I'm at a loss for words, honestly. I'm just so proud of all these kids. They played their butts off, and they never gave up. And this is, the, this is, this is what no, You guys are up by 12 with about four minutes to go. You got tired down the stretch. You forced overtime. You got to look at places. You forced overtime. What was the mindset in the huddle going into overtime? Oh, I mean, we had new life. Yeah. We had new life. You could tell the energy was back. And we wanted to keep it going, and I got to give them credit. They're a really good team, and they pushed us, and we tried to, you know, push them back, and, man. Two weeks ago, you know, in the ECC semifinal, you guys didn't come out with the energy you like to seek from your team, but right from the get-go, you matched it tonight. Yeah. Did you learn from that loss? Yes, definitely. After that loss, you know, I got on the guys about having our energy, so we started to do some stuff that we did in the beginning of the year, uh, running stuff and everything to get our mindset back. And, you know, they've done it. Right. Well, we got a couple of freshmen that have grown up tonight. Waterford Dental Health play of the game. First of all, co-players, Devin Williams and Amir Gray. Amir, you're, talk about your play on the defensive end, which really helped your team in the third quarter. I mean, everybody contributed to the defense, but I don't know, the intensity just came in. I was there for my teammates on the... 27 11th. points as a freshman. Oh was it? We love it. Listen, the green light and the ability to step up, big shots, do you feel like you're playing like a freshman right now? Nah. No. no. I play like, like a like a senior. Like, like yeah. Yeah. Another, one, another one, Devin Williams. Devin, come in here. I know you hurt your arm down the stretch, and we won't talk about that, but listen. Their guy was pretty tough to cover out there, number zero. Santiago, you know, tough. Talk about that matchup. Yeah, I just had to play aggressive. Just couldn't let him touch the ball. If he didn't touch the ball, their team's, their team's offense is not there. So as long as I didn't let him touch the ball, they, the offense was stagnant. They ain't, couldn't go nowhere. That's why we went, we, went up, we went up 11. All hard here at St. Bernard's, isn't it? Yeah, of course. It's a big win for the St. Bernard's Saints tonight.
that pretty much says it all. Eighty-five, eighty-four. They're the semifinal Saints. They'll go on and take on Daniel Hand. But right there is an image Mark Jones has been looking for since he took over here at St. Bernard's. Pandemonium on the hill, and Sports Doctor. I, I couldn't hear anything. Game. I couldn't say anything. Um, I will say this: it is just raw emotion and energy down there on the floor right now and isn't that why we do this isn't that why we have covered these games over years for special moments like this and a team was up 14 with four minutes to go they squandered the lead away and mark talked about it he said when we got into overtime we felt like we had new life and they did and yeah you know, give we said Bassick was going to not go down easy they were going to find a way to punch their way back in claw their way back in they did that yeah uh I give uh, Basque a lot of credit. Ah. Their free throw shooting uh, kept them in it. Uh, they, they, they turned it into a, a scrum late where the you know any bounce could go their way. They out hustled a tired St. Bernard's team, but at the end, um, all you say all you want about the freshman kid named Wheeler knocks yeah, down man, the winning play free throw. And I'm going to say this too: is you know we forget about the purity and innocence and the energy of high school sports. And so we watch the NBA and the college and stuff like that. To me, this game and this atmosphere and these students, you can't beat that. That's, that, that's why high school sports is so special because it, it's going to give you a night like this, and especially after the two years we had with COVID shutting things down. I mean, this gym was alive. The Bassic student section and fan section was unbelievable. It was a really, really special night here. And I it, listen, it's not this game. I feel bad for Dave Cornish. And the other teams in the ECC got picked off a little bit. But this was special here tonight. This, yeah. this league is alive and well. Yeah, New London and Ledger, uh, you know, took their lumps tonight. NFA loses a heartbreaker at the buzzer. Uh, Wyndham was up. We don't know the final of that yet. Uh, but St. Bernard's has guaranteed that there will be an ECC team in the semifinals. Right. As multiple teams are trying to make that run to the Sun. The Bacon Academy girls, congratulations again to them. They'll be at the Sun this weekend. And this gives us life on game day because we may have at least one, we do have one, maybe two yeah. semifinal games as well for the ECC to try to send somebody to play for the chip come this weekend. Yeah, so win them one by two. There you go. I mean, boy, I tell you, you know, and it, it's, it's, again, I keep going back to two weeks ago, Waterford High School, where, you know, St. Bernard's laid an absolute egg against Waterford. And, you know, to rally and have the energy and, you know, we talked about 11 deep and Bassick and wearing them down, but are they hung in there? And listen, sometimes you got to get a little lucky to win along the way, don't you? You do. You got to get a little lucky to win a state championship. And whether it's, you know, Tertullian missed stepping free, on the or line. Or a missed free throw, yeah. Know, off, or the, off that missed free throw or, you know, anything. The, the, the Williams scoop shot at the buzzer to put the game in overtime. Yeah, but, you know, now you're going to have with Wyndham's victory, you got two. You got a semifinalist in Division Three. You got a semifinalist in Division Five, And you got a girls team in the final. So the ECC will be represented this weekend one way or the other. But on Wednesday night, it's going to be a tall task because they're going to be exhausted even though they are high school kids. Right. The emotional energy of this one, the physical exertion of this one, and Daniel Hand is really good. Yeah, not bad. Pretty, pretty well-disciplined team. They've beaten ECC opponents in their last two games. They beat East Lyme, and they dismantled New London tonight. And I think this is the best of those three teams that they're yep. going to face on Wednesday. So... I can't say enough about the atmosphere here tonight. It was brilliant on the hill. Listen, I, listen Carlos, Dan on the cameras, Peter uh, behind the scenes over there to the left. Great job tonight by this entire crew. Absolutely right. Couldn't ask for anything more in a broadcast, in a ball game, in an environment. For the sports doctor, Keith O'Brien, I am Casey O'Neill. Pandemonium on the hill.